Hello and welcome to what might be the final episode of Persona 4 The Golden. There really isn't much left except for, um, well, endgame. And that's what this part is about endgame. Now, as I said, if I go back and play this on New Game Plus, there's not much I can possibly do except the stuff I can do. So, in this case, um, if I do New Game Plus, it'll be mainly for the stuff I hadn't done. So hopefully everything carries over on that, so it makes things a lot easier. And I mean a lot easier. It's February 14th. Singles Awareness Day! I mean, Valentine's Day. Today's Valentine's Day. Or, as my friends like to call it, Singles Awareness. Hmm. You see free text messages. You're coming to school today, right? I want to talk to you and stuff, so I like to walk home with you. Okay. Yo! Yo! Today is February 14th, right? Honestly, I don't want to think about it. I really don't. There are Valentine's Day decorations plus all over Juness. I can't escape it thanks to my stupid job. Ugh, someone help me do something about all this pressure. Believe in yourself. Huh, I used to back when I lived in the city. Nothing but betrayal ever since. Oh man. If I end up just getting friend chocolates, and those only from Teddy. Never put it down. Hey everyone, you posted like the test results. Now for a moment of truth. Come on, wanna check it out? You got the highest score! Oh, you're a genius, go! It's awesome. I'm just as happy as I get the high. It's great myself. Yay. Back to Assault Mines one last goddamn time. After school. More male students have stayed after school than usual. What should I do now? I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but I don't know what to do. I don't think there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it. I'll go up to the roof or something. I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. I got nothing for that one, man. It's like you go be behind the school building. You guys, I swear. Most of the girls are already gone. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. I know, right? If they want candy so much, why don't they just buy us some themselves? I know, right? Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? <laughs> man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. Part-time workers at Juness? Oh. Oh! Oh. The important thing is that I have any at all. Uh, okay. 
right, Jason? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. You work at Juna's too. Yeah, I do have some. Right, Yukiko? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I like candy. I like candy. Do, 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 do. I want candy. Do, 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 do. What makes you think it's going to you? It might be for me. It might be for them. Don't be so desperate. And I brought some too. Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing. Here you go, Chia Senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? Why not you? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow, putting a new spin on things. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. Lisa A hands out chocolate to each person. But there doesn't seem to be any left for you. Hey, what about him? I'm good. I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. That wording, man! <laughs> Everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. That wording, though! So, see you later. Yeah. She gives me a meaningful look. You must go see Reese later. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! ability to avoid personal <laughs> drama is impressive. But I'm not going to see her. Oh, Natukun. What are you all doing together? I'm talking about chocolate. What's that supposed to mean? Today's a huge deal. It's Singles Awareness Day. Ah, uh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me. She never breaks a sweat. Kanji, that's your woman. Go get her. Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. Sure, why not? I totally feel like we missed the train here. It went so slow we missed it. The fuck! Attention, everyone! The fuck! Go! What? What? Man! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Damn, just like that? Okay. <laughs> if you can't find yours, come see me later. I took the care of chocolates. That means you. Oh. Um. Yukiko? What the fuck? What? Man, Yukiko's being even bossier than normal. Um. I, I guess? I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. You, you do that. Tell me later, okay? Oh, this is chocolate for everyone in it. Take your eyes and go home. Um, okay. G guys? What the hell? Talk about being brushed off. I, I got none, guys. Even though I got a text message, I got none. Oh, you don't want yours? I'll take it. Um, sure, you know what? God, you moron, of course I want it. Look, guys, it's three of us, we can share this, alright? You must go see Yukiko later. First floor classroom. You can't see Risa. 
For a moment, I was thinking that maybe you wouldn't even come. The way you basically came out and said, look, I want you to come and see my special chocolate. <laughs> Why I wasn't drinking anything during that time. She seemed to be smiling as usual. Huh? Here, this is yours. It's special, just for you. Oh, thank you. She gives you a special chocolate gift. Well, now where are you going? Who are you going to see? It's a girl, isn't it? Um... Oh, why do you think that? Ugh, that was mean. I didn't want to say that. But you're the one who's making me turn so mean. I'm your girlfriend, and I can't even go on a date with you on Valentine's Day. Oh, dear. I guess that if whatever it is is a big deal to you, I can't complain. But I'm not just going to take it lying down. This isn't fun and games. I'm serious about you. I hate this. I always feel like a mess when it comes to dealing with you. I get that a lot. Sorry, I don't want to trouble you. I'm sorry. Awkward silence fills the air. However, you already just declined her offer. Girls, like, yeah, that's another girl. No, I'm Yukiko. You came to the shoreline with Yukiko. The cool air feels good. I bet you were surprised just now. I acted kind of weird. No shit, you were! I thought out all these ways to present it to you, and I practiced a big speech. You could have just gave it. But everyone was there, and I had such a huge box, and. It was hard. Wording. This is for you. It's kind of big, but... Is it awkward that it's February with the heat like this and it's just weird and like the fuck? This is a huge box of chocolate. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to check I it. wanted to make it myself, but everyone else at the end noticed what I was doing. First they just supported me, but then they all started helping out. The thing is this, it's like, um, you're already in my ship. You turned it down. I already just like... I said, but... It ain't like that. But what? It ain't like that. So it was just that one time, it's a hug and all of a sudden, like... It was a hug, like, you saw a hug and something else came? What the fuck? So... It's more like a gift from the entire Amagi Inn, instead of me. I only made a little part of it. Oh. But I think it tastes good. You know what? I'm gonna share this with the family. You know what? I thought that counts. <laughs> I'll make it by myself next time, with all my love poured into it. You do that. Will you open it? Sure. A gourmet quality chocolate gives off a wonderful aroma. It's like, it's all about the chocolate. It has a rich flavor and melts in your mouth. You can't stop eating. You share the chocolate with Yukiko. That was good. The cooks sure are impressive. But I wish there was more depth to it. It's like having a... Just like having steak. <clears throat> they stopped me, but I should have gone with my gut and used the squid ink. What? That's high head. Yeah, I think it'll add a layer of complexity to the flavor. They are the same color, after all. You can't just like I can't wait until next year, so I'll try making it next week. Huh? Hmm. I'm so glad I could give it to you. Oh, the 
course. I couldn't sit still. I'd been thinking about this day for so long. I didn't know if we'd be able to spend the day together, but at the very least, I wanted to give you the chocolate. This is all about chocolate, y'all. Risei's mad because, like, you had this simple thing right here. It's like, I wanted to give you my super special chocolate. I'll take it. He's going to decline her offer. And let you know how I feel. I think you already let me know how you feel, but keep telling me that you love me. But even this huge present isn't enough to express the way I feel. You wonder why I took Yukiko over Risei. Very simple. She's being simple about it, and I like women who are simple. Tell me how they feel, and, you know, I that that's my kind of woman. My kind of woman has to be simple. Not over the top, it doesn't have to be like I have to play checkers just to figure out what's going on. Like, if you had a hard day, please talk to me. Don't just like, I don't want to talk about it. I, I, I want to hear you, as I, I do. I want to hear what's going on with you. So, let me listen. You don't want to talk about it? Then you know what? Then just, just... My feelings for you are much, much bigger. Uh -huh. When I was making the chocolate with everyone at the inn, I felt like you were with me. Of course I was. As if you were standing right by my side. And smelling your neck. <laughs> I had a little daydream about that. Me smelling your neck while you were cooking? I'll be the manager, and you'll be next to me. When a guest comes, we'll welcome them together. We'll say, welcome, together. Hmm. And that's how it'll be. Sounds right. You think? <laughs> but that means you'll have to be adopted into our family and take our name. Not like the first time that has happened. <clears throat> um, it, it's kind of an important matter, so... I mean, it makes me happy that you want to. But you should, um, think it through. I don't have that long, though. Great, now I'm starting to sweat. I have that effect. Um, most women that know me. Cold winds blowing. It should be really cold right now. But I don't feel any of that. Hmm. The only sound you hear is the crashing of the waves. My heart is filled with my love for you. It's so warm. I feel like I'm going to melt. I have that effect on most women. <clears throat> I'm scared that I'm going to disappear. I love you. I love you so much. With all that I am. That's one thing I don't hear very often. I'm taking this into, you know, I'm taking it, I'm taking this like, just as is like, yeah, um, I don't hear that now. Even though I'm online, even though I'm in a relationship, I just don't hear that very often. It's usually, I usually say that. I initiate. I don't get initiated. I initiate. You can smell the sweet aroma of chocolate. You spent a long time with Yukiko. It's like, I'm sorry, Risei, but you kind of like, vroom, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll, girl. Slow your roll. In the living room. Seems Dojima's away on business and can't come home. Big bro, 
Do you know what day it is today? The worst day of my life. Everybody was bombarding me with chocolate. I swear, I was going to get diabetes. Valentine's Day, right? Ding, ding, ding. You are correct. You're the only safe person I can eat chocolate around. This is my favorite chocolate. Oh, see, this is nice. Nanako gives you some chocolate that's very popular with children. Today, my teacher said Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. As it should be. Teacher gave us all chocolate. Everybody, even me. And when she gave it to me, she said, It's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Tanaka's amazing commodities in the background. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. Well, you are. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. Hey, you be fun for me. I'm a little proud of you. You don't get told very often, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> really? Of course. You've been through an ordeal, and you pulled yourself out of that ordeal. What else can I say? I can't say, were you nervous? Like, no. It's like, after all that, I'm like... We were nervous about you, but after all that, I'm proud that you're still there. And then my teacher was so happy. Good for her. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? All the goddamn time. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Pokemon! Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. I now am rent a hero. Thank you. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. made it myself. Huh? A strange object sits on the plate. By some miracle it has no smell at all. The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. I made one for you. I am definitely going to get this to reset. Just who taught her how to cook? Your instincts, honed after a year of battle, are ringing warning bells in your mind. She said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. But you, ah, you asked her to... Oh, oh and bacon. I since everyone likes what? bacon. What? Huh, wait, 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 you, you, what the fu- uh! Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Oh my lord, what in the world, Chan? What did you just do? Ooh. Risei Chan said that the chocolate should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. What the f- What, what, what the f- you're a grown-up, big bro, so I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. What? I think the 
it sour so sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. Oh my lord. <laughs> Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. So I added some fish sausage and some of dad's fermented squid. Lord. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. Oh, good lord. What have you done? What have you done? And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Oh, the front. The front. She looks at you expectantly. Oh. oh. Um, Big Bro, thank you. I love you. You have no options. It's <laughs> damn. I see so clear. What's wrong, big bro? That happened. You can hear Nanako's voice from far away. So, um, this happened. Oh, this happened. You don't know what the hell happened. You just saw things that you weren't supposed to see, but it happened anyway. After getting some rest, you managed to recover your health. A soft light is pouring from in from outside. You should hurry to school. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. The weather's great today. It's even a little warm, don't you think? Hmm. I saw on the news that the first official spring storm was observed this morning. Spring is just around the corner, huh? Spring, huh? Everything went by so fast. <clears throat> What's up? What's going on? <clears throat> and then we were just talking about how spring's almost here. Then go kind of Hmm. Uh, yeah, I try not to think about it. Hey, still got some time, right? No gloomy faces on that. Let's have fun. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna pack your brain so full of good memories that beg us to that you'll beg us to stop. Oh shit! Well, let's go. What? Hey, wait for me. We better go too. We go right into the last day. And these are all the memories that you have with your friends. You finished packing. You'll be returning to the city in two days. You decide to rest for today. Spring has come once again, to Inaba.
Dojima residence. Tomorrow's finally the day you'll part with everyone. All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Thanks. Can I go answer the door? Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. After that asshole dodging again. Mm -hmm. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuita bus station. Today is your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. This is the last day you'll be spending in this town. You should wander around for a while. Are you going out? Be careful. Yep. Hmm. So, there's two ways it can go about it. You get the normal ending, or the true ending. So, we did quite a bit, so let's go to the shopping district. Shopping District, Aeon in Shopping District, Priestess in Shopping District. Devils in the pro it is in the Shopping District. I, I did quite a bit though, so. First off, we go to Nima again. Because you're going to those who have max out ranks. The only route you can take, so Nima again. Welcome to. Hi. Welcome. That's right, you're leaving tomorrow. Thanks for coming to see me before you leave. I'm very happy. It means a lot to me. Helping with 
while Spark taking a long bath and going to sleep. So we can, we can take a bite from the front But I felt miserably. I kept thinking about you. And on top of that, here you are, right in front of me. You're not helping at all. I'm leaving town with you tomorrow. You what? <laughs> Just kidding for now. But girl? You know, after I decided to stay here and become the manager, I realized how afraid I was. Whether I can meet all the responsibilities, whether I'll be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought things like that. But I made my decision. Now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I do my best to overcome the fear. You'll be in my heart while I do. Okay. We'll be together, even when we're apart. I promise I won't turn away from my promise of peace. I'm going to meet every challenge head on, no matter how hard it seems. Remember what Amino Sagiri said? If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. That's not what I wish for. I'll face myself, no matter what happens. Thank you. Mm. I will always love you. You feel a saw bomb between you and your cup. Well, well, well I, I should get back to work. I'll see you later. You have yet to say goodbye to Dice Game Cole. voice is coming from inside the restaurant. My bros, I'm here. Whoa! What? <laughs> what a coincidence. Just we were just talking about you. She just chill for us for a little... Well, you see, we were talking about whether or not all the stuff that happened here was really over and we were consoling each other about you leaving why you gotta blurt that stuff out that's embarrassing man to be honest though i didn't want to see you one last time but i figured you'd be busy you'd be too busy you know next thing i know you walk right in it's like man i was being felt for nothing Uh, my bros, I'm going to show. Oh yeah, this right, our team might actually have a shot at some tournament. Real, you talk talk about national, right? We keep our base up till then, you yeah, know. Still a huge improvement. <laughs> Probably thanks to all that hard training of yours. First year girl whining about. It. Yeah, they don't take it seriously. Seen him slack off like that. I understand why Cole got mad. I mean, I can clearly tell that someone's not being serious. It pisses me off a lot. <laughs> See? Trying hard is tough. I don't know. I get more fun out of it than when I used to slack off. 
course, will be better ghosted. Ah oh, well, nothing we can do about that. Time to suck it up. Go. We'll go over to your place sometime. So you better come back here and visit us too. Ha! <laughs> Enough of the sad crap. Let's be how we normally are and send him off with a smile. So there you go. I'm gonna find a cute girl's belt. Hey, I thought you like she- Shut up! Just know that! Speaking of which, what happened to that promise of yours? The one who said we'll have another group day? Y you mean you were serious? Hmm. Of course. Did I have to say- Did I got one thing to say? Stop wearing the same damn training clothes! No, I think you could get a nice gay, a nice shirt, and some pants as a favorite present. What? Hey, I got more clothes than this, you know. Huh? Yeah, I bet they're all sportswear. You better come as a go. I can't handle the day you see my dice game. Though. Three of us should have a big old group date sometime, too. You feel a close bond between dice game calling yourself. I'm sure you got more goodbyes to say. We can see you tomorrow anyway. Yeah, don't waste your time on us, man. You move from separate. We'll always be friends. <sighs> Why do you always got to say the good part? Just gotta say the Come thing back. Junas! Yo! Go! Sensei, I'm super duper happy that you came to see me! Going around saying goodbye, huh? What'd you think of the sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? It must seem weird to you. Hmm. I wonder why it began just as you arrived here. I remember that first time since I escaped braving the TV world alone. Boy, it feels so nostalgic! Since then, it's just been one surprise after another. Hmm. I can't imagine how it's gonna be like living here without you. Quiet, peaceful town, no need to use our persons anymore. I can't imagine it either. And that's right, we were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. Lots of stuff happened. Face my true self, and you and me got into a fight, too. Yosuke, did you smash Sensei? Oh, how reckless! Of course, Mora. Best friends gotta fight sometimes to be best friends. Why'd you say so earlier? Sensei, bring it all! Let's fight! Dude, don't hurt him, man. change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Thank you so much, Sensei Yosuke. I love you. That's kind of strong. I'll take my outfit if you want. No, no. Keep it on. Let's not. Please. You feel a solid bond between you, Yosuke, and Teddy. 
By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Don't you have somewhere to go? Like, clean somewhere? Do you want Teddy to come with you? No, nah, man, I'm good. <sighs> no, I think Teddy has to work. The only thing about you have yet to say goodbye to him. Where is she at? Oh, drum club. Drama club's meeting room is on the first floor of the practice building. Okay. Spring break, but school's open to the students. Later? Yes. Someone's in her. Someone's in the room. In her? Sure. Who wouldn't? Hey, you. Yumi's here. Okay. Yumi, you come. Here. I came here today to turn something in. I felt this way with nostalgia. We used to be in this club together. Joining student council, I figure I should be doing something for my school. I want to take part in local politics to <laughs> town's voting way to keep the gas mask. I understand why people wouldn't want to see them ever again, but what happens if the fog comes back, you know? Oh, and I started working at Jeunesse on the cash fair at the food court. I'd like to try some more of the clubs at school, to be honest, I'd like to go back to the trauma. To see and feel the world I live in. I'm planning to try as many things as I can going to the opportunities. And I've been thinking about what I'm supposed to do in my life. That is, I want to find out what the significant meaning in my life is, why my parents paid me. Though, if I do find that out, I can't be satisfied with that answer. Raison de terre. things on to as many people as we can. It's not, about, it's not about inheriting blood or continuing your genetic line. It's more like passing on your memories. And since my father passed the kids down to me, I have to do for I had to do the same for future generations. <laughs> I'll do my best to see that my life bears some fruit. I care about you so much won't change, no matter how far we're apart. You won't be alone. Bye. Her eager smile cheers you up. Thank you, Yumi. You feel a close bond between me, yourself and you. You've not spoken to everyone who f you formed a strong bond yet. You should speak to them before your departure. You should say hello to Dojima and Nanako. Hey. Go, how about how are the goodbyes coming along? You see all your friends? Oh. 
driver's seat. Make sure you don't leave here without any regrets. Talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other, right? such an upstanding young man. <laughs> mm. Give that a go. Call some time when you have a spare moment. And you're welcome to come visit us anytime. I'll leave your room just like it is. This is your second home. You feel a solid bond between Dojima and Nanako and yourself. Dead go. Sure, Nanako, if he's available by the time we are an adult. But that won't be over. But that will be a long time left. Right. He smiles, but he's looking straight into your eyes and doesn't seem to be joking. Goodbye to everyone yet. You still have a lot of time today. Why don't you go around Inaba and see everyone in the mission? Besides, I don't think you really have a whole peaceful small town experience for you. Now that I think about it, the case began shortly after you arrived. And it ended a few months ago. Basically, it all happened while you were. Here in Inaba. I guess it was all just a court of fate. Anyway, you should get going. We'll be going home too. You've said goodbye to all the people you formed close bonds with. You should return to your house to prepare for tomorrow. I don't really want to. I feel that something. Something is telling me to... It, it, it's telling me I, I can't go home. So, no, no, I, I can't. Guys. 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 
Jesus. Guys, you should have no reason to come here anymore. Might as well stop by the food court one last time. Andrew? Uh, yes. I've got some unfinished matters. The usual food court. This is where you had spent so many afternoons going over the case with everyone. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. Huh? Hey. What a coincidence! It must be destiny! Oh, so you guys came here too! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. I think I'm doing it. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. I think I meet the requirements for this. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. But I was feeling too restless. So I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> Will you shut up about your steak? <laughs> Reminisce with the others. I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her, too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. That's how it usually starts. Huh. I wonder how it started, then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability, so that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about Personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? There must be something you're not remembering. 
Anything come to your mind, senpai? You're the only exception. You have the power to enter TVs before your persona awakens. And the same goes for Adachi and Namatani. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave. <clears throat> A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. The sender's listed as... A Dutch. Huh? This is from jail? It's from a Dutchie. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about, regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. I triggered it. I triggered it, I don't know how, but I triggered it. I think I have more than enough, um, Max out social links and do it. I didn't have to use, um, I didn't have to go do Marie. You know, I didn't have to go max her out. I think I met, like, the quota without even knowing I met the quota. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Anatana's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatani and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this would be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. The letter from Adachi ends there. Hmm, it's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. Like, I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world, the midnight channel, the ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Jay, you're a genius. I could kiss you right now. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? The power to enter TV is where everything about this case started. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town when she told you about the room. But Adachi and Namatana heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. There is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. 
Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme... Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us, the culprits, and maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Who could have given you the initial spark for this power? The one you immediately... The one you met immediately after coming to the town was... this all of a sudden? You asked Dojima about the first day you arrived in town. The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> Now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. Lots happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, Big Bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. Yep. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Mm -hmm. The weird attendant? Yeah, when I first met you, I remembered the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I don't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah, come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you look sick, big bro. Yep. Yeah, sick. Um, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. 
are you carsick? You said you were okay, but that attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. I don't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to run this. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? It might be important. I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. The first place you stopped when you came to town was the gas station. Maybe something will jog your memory. You go to the velvet. Welcome to the velvet room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? There's one last thing. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then. Let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. The Orb of Clarity, or the Orb of Sight. Same thing. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. Under the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will be the journey's true end. Yes. One beyond our predictive power. True ending! Now go to the place where everything began. The gas station. The gas station. It began raining. Oh, I'm dropping this a right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
So you know what? I'm actually going to do this. I'm actually going to stop right here. And in the next part, we triggered true ending. So in the next and truly final part, we're going to that true ending. We've already triggered everything we needed to do to get the true ending, so we are on the path to getting true ending. So stay tuned. The final, and I do mean final, episode of Persona 4 The Golden will conclude right after this. <laughs>